Hello there, my name is Mr. Smarlonky. Welcome back to my let's play of Legends of Eisenwald. So last time we left off, we were picking up some quests here in Quelberg, so I'm going to continue doing that. We had two more people to talk to, at least we had one more person, and then we had the gossip we then listened to, which is probably quite a bit of reading. So this traveler, they say, they speak about it quietly, because the city guards don't like such conversation, but it is inevitable. La Landgrave Enderlin has gathered a terrible army and will soon attack our lands. Hold on, is that the Enderlin who married the Duke's daughter? Definitely, but it is said the Duke won't last long. He barely leaves his bed. As for the descendants, some of them died or simply disappeared. It seems like the Landgrave is the man, main pretender for the Duke's throne. But the local council won't take an oath of loyalty that easily, for sure. Every man will fight for himself, and now with the Duke so weak, he won't be able to avert the slaughter that soon shall fall upon us. Okay. We have some gossip. Let's see. The Black Necklace. Sure. I recently went to the witch Celine, who lives in a hut not far from Frosh, to get some ointment for my little son. While she was making it, she told me a story. A hundred years ago, there lived an abbot Stephen, Stephen, Steve, Stefan, in St. Lucia's Monastery. He happened to fancy a girl from the city. She was poor but proud. She wouldn't ever give it to the, into the abbot. So he decided to enter in, into an argument with dark, uh, sorry, enter into an agreement with dark forces. He went to a sorcerer and bought a bewitched necklace made of black stone. It was blacker than when you close your eyes tight during a dark night, but it was glowing as though burning with black flame inside. And the one who looked at it would, wouldn't, be able to, wouldn't be able to draw one's eyes from it as if falling into the blackness of the stone. But the most important thing about it is that the one who takes it on loses their will. So Stefan gave it to that girl, and she gave him all he wanted at once. Some time passed and he lost interest and forgot about her. But their relationship didn't vanish without tra trace. She didn't remove the necklace for nine months and then gave birth to a boy with a black sign on his neck. The abbot didn't recognize the boy as his own. What could she do? She went to the depths of the woods and left the baby there. She wanted to return but lost her way. Then she found a branchy tree, took a n rope, knotted it over the necklace, and hung herself. People tried to find her but they didn't manage to find her for a week because she had gone so far. She was buried under the roots of that very tree. The baby wasn't found at all. Stefan lost his mind ra right after this and start began sleepwalking. He said the girl would come to him, take his hand, and lead him to the wood. That's when, why he ordered a monk to lock his cell. But all the same, he couldn't fall asleep. He prayed all night long. Abbot Stefan didn't turn his eyes to the girl ever again. Wow, what a sad story. The Old Altar. Have you heard that demons gather by the Old Altar on the East Bank to hold Sabbaths? Did you hear it from Grossenhof, or have you just drunk too much wine? <laughs> Actually, I didn't, but my gra child's grand... A child's godfather's sister heard it in the market. One random man swore that he saw those demons with his own eyes. He said they made bonfires, dance outrageously, and howl with terrible voices. Ha! So you found a rope to hang your own ears on. The more you do and the less you listen to such tales, the better for you. I'm a bag of anecdotes today, aren't I? Actually, come to think of it, that was one too. Add it to the pile. The pile! Okay. <laughs> and Barbara Reich. Have you heard of Gunther Reich's... Have you heard of Gunther Reich from Frosch, a local libertine? He sleeps with his own sister, don't you know? You women always make up tales, especially when you have nothing better to do. But it is the absolute truth. I was told to about our cook. Do I? I feel like I've heard this story before. It's difficult to hide such things. He forces her to sleep with him. Ah, I would run away from such a life or simply hang myself. Well, rich people are always like that. Libertines, drunkards, and thugs. She notices you nearby and coughs slightly, but I can't say anything. But yeah, see, I have heard that before. Nothing bad of us. Alright, well, anyway, I think that's it. So, we can hire people here. But I didn't have the money, did I? That was the problem. Oh, we can hire a rogue archer. But that's a mercenary. Um, yeah, I don't want a hunter recruits. Is that like... Oh, that's like him, right. Well, we don't want that either. We don't want anything, actually, right now. I have a level up available. I did not know that. When did that happen? There we go. Upgrade, right, so we can get the Traveler. The Zero's army moves faster on rough terrain and receives a plus two initiative if battle takes place in a forest or a swamp. Which leads into merchant buying and selling for more money. That's useful, but not that great. Um, meh. Eh. Right, that one was shit, but then this one is good. And that one, I don't know what it means, but it uh, might be good as well. I assume it's good. But I think we're going to go for the archer one. So point like shooting and then preliminary shot, accurate shooter, and maybe long range. I don't think I want to care for these ones too. Or though, even. So I'll go for point blank shooting. 
Alright, I think the other ones are pretty close to leveling. Yeah, he's close. He's pretty close. He's one experience away. He's quite a wasp, but he is also higher level. Fake sword. I guess we got that from a quest or something. Can anyone mount up? No, no one can mount up, including ourselves. Right, anyway, let's uh, let's see. So we have a whole bunch of quests now. Right, so we got Way Home and Strife. Uh, this one we need to go to Landstein, or to Mountain Gate, right? We have Strife, your vassals from the West Bank, right? So we need to, yeah, we need to kill two of them and then the rest will join. That's not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. Uh, okay, we can take his side, we can take Riker's side. So we have two more guys to talk to. Then we have Merchant Guild problems. Quabrook Merchants Guild has asked you to get rid of the line guards capers who are robbing the merchants. You have to try to warn Humboldt first. Okay, it doesn't tell me where to go and I have no idea what this means. It's it's not been too long since I last played this, but I really don't remember this. You have to try to warn Humboldt first. Who the fuck's Humboldt? Just looking around the place, see if there's, an, if there's a name like Humboldt to talk to, you, but I don't I don't think so. Uh, Qualberg Burgomaster asks you to find out why the production of coal from Grossenhof's mine has ceased. I think that's over here. So there's, well, there's a mine here. Oh, there's a coal mine there. Okay, Castle Grossenhof. So that's probably right there. So I think we should go there. Because that looks like something we could actually do. Anna von Gunzen, a nobleman from Quilberg, told you that Gunther Reich, a seducer stepdaughter, now he must marry her. As a suzerain, you have to bring him to account. Alright, so we have to we have to slip something into his drink or make him drunk or something like that. I can't remember. And uh, take care of Eric Grausschild's soul. Eric has promised he will calm down if his family source... Oh yeah, right, that's the one where we have to... Um, if you can manage to get him drunk with the substitute sword with the fragile one. Oh, that's the fake sword we have in our infantry, right? Uh, Grau shield. So how do we get him drunk? I have no idea. Well, oh, we have some notes. Oh, actually, the black necklace and stuff as well. It was told by a peasant by the witch Shaleen who lives in a hut near Frosch. Oh, interesting. Okay, so these are actually things that we might actually be able to do something with. Um, Legend of Iron Millstone. Oh, right, that's the Zmitter guy. Okay. Only uh, he can reach the t top of the crying mountain. Is that a place here or no? I don't know. I doubt it. Well, whatever. Nanker um, Valenzuela is going to make a war and attack the duchy to claim the throne. Okay, Enderlin. No idea. I don't see any Enderlin either. Well, let's go to the um, mine, and we'll, we'll we still need to talk to Grossenhof and Frosch. No, actually, it wouldn't be Frosch. Would it? It would be. Lofarholm, I think. Reike. Oh no, maybe not actually. I, I, the, I don't think these castles are... have anything to do with the, the people names. Well, whatever. We, we're gonna go to Castle Grossenhof and see who owns that. Holy shit, that's fast. Can I uh, turn around the camera? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay, so that's over this way. These people are friendly, right? Yeah. Looks like they are. Alright, so let's go to the castle first. There you are, donkey. You make me very happy with your presence. Cross enough. Yeah, we haven't spoken to him yet. I recently wagered some with some merry fellow in Quadberg about whether all the Lonsteins have disappeared or not, and now a hundred golden, hundred golden goldens are mine. I was always rooting for you, you know. Bruno, while you're feasting with revelers, your sons are fighting to the death of your neighbors. Oh, is this guy the friendly one, but always drunk or something? It's like an oat pie, or perhaps a fish pie. Probably fish, and all my neighbors definitely have f their fingers in it. Virtues, you say? Ha! Rijke, for instance, is widely known as for his love affairs in Quilberg. And Langard, he had palmed me a cask of Burgundian wine at an exorbitant price before you came. A travesty of epic, pro epic proportions, because then I found out it is not Burgundian, but rather the cheapest Erzglensian. That deed alone should see him hanging by, the, by his guts. That's enough, Bruno. I'm not going to put up with discord among my vassals. But what can I do? Should I stop protecting my lands? I cannot. However, if you do away with Langard and Riker, or Langard and Grauschild, or at least Grauschild and Riker, so any of them then, there will be more peace here. We will raise a glass uh, with those still alive and become friends again. But my personality alone makes it impossible to make peace with all of them. Okay. Ah, we have some more people to talk to as well. Um, let's talk to him again and see if he has anything else. Ask about delays in coal delivery. The demons, I am sure that the coal uh, the miners are obtained are from the very cauldrons of the demons, but the mine is mine, and it is mine. The mine is mine, it is mine. 
It means I steal the core from demons. That's why they take revenge on me. Cruel creatures, they curse my back and shame to say, vomit on me in the night. And recently something scary happened there. No sooner had I entered a closet than there appeared a demon's head. So I stopped taking coal from there, from them. I need wine. Maybe they do too. Perhaps it will calm them down, don't you think? Oh, I see. I have to leave now. Seems old Grossanov has lost his mind completely and it's time to return him to real life. But how should I do it? I must ask some good doctor for advice. Okay. Tell me about your neighbors. It's no use talking about them. They are dull. These are dull, grim people. Humboldt Langard shakes over his gold. That has no taste for other things in life. The only thing he has on his mind is war. We used to go to the tavern together, even though he used to long for battle rather than drink. The only one whom can you can drink with and talk with uh, this w about women is Gunther Riker from Frosch. But he visits my land to rob instead of stay. It makes him it more fun for him, I suppose. All right. What about your family? Well, I can tell you a story or two about it. Grossanov means a big court. There were two reasons to name the castle in such a way. Firstly, it is really big, and secondly, our family was always known for hospitality and welcoming. Any guest would be any guest would be fed and have his first quenched again and again, and of course the host wouldn't forget to help themselves. This is all due to the roads to Arsglans. There are chief chiefly free things in Erskland's mountains, or cattle and grapes. Thus it was in such a way that merchants going to Landstein would always leave a cask or two of good wine and rev reverence. Moreover, there are many legends about our family. My own grandfather defeated a hundred-headed monster in the mountains to the west. Yeah, that's definitely believable. Its tramping was as an earthquake, and its roar was the wailing of a thousand sinners. Thank you, Bruno. I think I also recall the story about your grandfather who was drunk and who was chasing a herd of sheep. All right. Um, all right. So your sons, I guess, what do they have to say for themselves? Uh, nothing. And same probably here. I can see you. I'm guarding my father's estate from all kinds of scum. Oh, good for you. All right. So that doesn't do anything. There's no point going to the coal mine. We need to talk to a doctor, apparently. All right. So what's next then? What else could we possibly do? So this is the take someone else's side. I guess is the new quest we have. That one. Let's go to Frosch Castle. I don't know if we've been there yet. Here are some regular old peasants. Soggy Hill. I don't think we've been to Frosch Castle yet. I'm not sure we've spoken to whoever owns that. Well, does not whoever owns this here isn't here. I mean, uh, Raike. We already spoke to Raike, isn't it? Or haven't we even? Yeah. So there's one guy we haven't spoken to that might be up here because we. We've, we've been running around here for a while. We haven't done anything over there yet. For a while, anyway. I mean, we arrived there, and that's it. Who are you? Oh, I didn't actually want to talk to you. Horst Langard. Let's go talk to him. Uh, must I'm much pleased to see you safe and sound. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all right. Nothing there. Okay, who are you? Is that... No, it's some peasants. Okay, so that's the castle. Hold on, that's probably him. Oh, he just went into the mine. Who are you? I'm just going to talk to you. Oh. Eric Grauschild. Oh, yeah, we've already spoken to him. Right. Okay, so you own Castle Lofferholm. I can go to your mine. What does that actually do? I assume nothing. Yeah. Does this give money? It does. 15 gold a day. All right. Um, Adolf's estate. I think we've already been there before as well. Oh, there's Adolf himself. Right. I think maybe we should just cross the river and go like that way, talk to that main quest thing. We need to talk to a good doctor. Maybe there's a doctor here. Uh, no, I don't want to hire any of you. Actions. No. Trade. There's no speaking to anyone here. Okay. Well, that's not it then, is it? Who are you? Peter Lynn. We've already seen you. Oh. Okay. Did I click on him? I don't think so. Uh, Walter Grossenhoff, some miner. We've spoken to people in here, haven't we? I think whoever owns that is there anyway. What castle have I not see? Uh, have I not gone to yet? Well, for home I've been. That one I've been. That one I've been. And that one I've been. Hmm. Gunter Rijka, mercenary gang. Eh, fuck it. Let's um, let's cross the river. I think we haven't actually been in these places yet, have we? Because we, there was constantly the, the people around here. Right. Do you know the story of the burning of the Elbe? 
Oh yes, that is a well-known story in our lands. I don't need to hear it again. Speak for yourself. I often travel through these parts, and I've never heard of this burning river. Go on, please. Well, let me clear my throat. <clears throat> ah, that's better. Now, listen closely to this frightful tale. Ah, I see. Thirty years ago in Ruffold lived a young Ganifa, a girl from a noble family, and her beauty was beyond compare. Her oldest brother made a match for her with an unlovable man, the one-handed giant Zmitter. Wait, what? This is the same story, except told differently. Because, according to the other story, he made- the oldest brother made a match with someone else, and then Zmitter made a deal with the devil or whatever. Or something. Because she wanted to marry Zmitter, and then she made a challenge saying, whoever climbs the mountain can marry me. Or something. Anyway, the wedding was to take place in the Cathedral of John the Baptist, the largest and tallest church in the duchy, in the middle of the Elbe. A wide bridge from Winfield led, led up to it. One day before the wedding, Ganifa felt as though hope had completely deserted her. She went to the top of the church's tallest tower and stepped off the edge. The giant smitter managed to catch her with his remaining hand. Her actions only enraged him. He cried out loud enough that all around could hear his words. Don't think that, th that I shall give up on this wedding. I would only abandon the match if the Elbe is scorching with flame. A flame that consumes the church as well. For the entire night, Ganifa cried for a miracle. At dawn, she heard bells, frantic noises, urgent cries. As she came to the win as she came to the window, she saw the very water of the elf blazing and the church consumed in flame. When morning came, the church had burned down to the ground. The wedding was cancelled. Holy fuck! The duke ordered a search for the arsonist. The search was in v in vain. No suspect could be found. But then a man who was uh, who the people claimed was a sorcerer approached the magistrate. The people said that this man could speak only speak with animals. That fateful night, as his kite flew over the river, it had spotted the one who had put the cathedral to flame. The sorcerer agreed to name this person and asked for no reward, save that he be permitted to deliver the punishment himself. The duke and his court did not know whether the man was trustworthy, but before they made up their mind, the judge's assistant arrived, a smart and honest young man. He found the arsonist, and the criminal admitted his guilt. It was the knight Nicholas, an old enemy of Smitter. During that night, he was guarding the tower and overheard the conversation of Ganifa with her fiancé. He was ready to do anything for revenge, revenge. so he plundered the dockyard for barrels of tar. He knew that no guards patrolled the church at night and placed the majority of the barrels around the church. The excess he dumped into the Elbe. The fire was simplicity itself. As the story unfolded, the sorcerer grew irked. He said a few words to the judge's assistant and then left. Nicholas was punished, but not executed. The cathedral of John the Baptist was rebuilt, for they could barely salvage anything from the ruins. Smitter kept his word and the wedding was cancelled. Ganifa ran away with Linhart far to the south into the foothills of the Alps. The things that can occur in this world be beggar belief. But tell me, what punishment could be worse than death? Ah yes, I know this, this story well. Okay. And there's some more gossip to listen to. Witch Selene. Okay, I do actually want to know about that. Have you heard about the Witch Selene who lives not far from Frost? She re recently healed Mafias from Soggy Hill Blearing. Blearing? Blair, blah, blaring? How did it happen? Mafias was saying that strange men came with horns came to his house and stole butter. So Selene made some strange potion and made him drink the whole jug. He was de despondent for the rest of the day and then said, Rats are stealing my butter. He set some rat traps and the butter was safe from their thieving paws. And then he said that those with deer horns are honest fellows who won't take anything without permission. Okay. Have you heard that demons gather by the old altar on the east bank to hold sabbats? Did you hear from Gross? Okay, we've already heard this story. Uh, yep, same story. All right. Okay. Thanks for all that. Now let's see what is in Long Archard. Some people to hire. No healers though. Okay. I think we're gonna go across the river. We can actually go to the docks. Let's see what we can do there. Just out of interest. Nothing. Who's that person that just left right there? Some merchant. Where are we supposed to? Holy shit. We're like really slow here. I want to talk to him. Uh, okay. No, nothing with that merchant. I thought maybe we had to talk to a merchant for some reason. Um, there's that castle which we can go to. Oh, here's some, some beggars. Let's see if we can avoid them. Uh, they're enemies as well, aren't they? Yeah. Alright, let's go to the marketplace here first. Uh, I wouldn't mind having another healing potion. Ooh, it's like a half healing potion. It's pretty good though. Might get that. Because I don't have any f any more healing potions on her now. Not that I really need them, but... Well, I shouldn't anyway. I have one more on him though, so I think I'll keep it for now. Or I'm not going to buy any more for now, I mean. Okay. Oh, actually, was there anything else to do here? 
So I think that castle uh, over there, I think that one's like owned by the guy who was with us in the initial thing, St. Norbert's Church. Uh, we can hire, we can trade, nothing that is of interest to us right now. Oh, nope, I don't want to fight. There's, this is hostile, okay. So I wonder if I take this, if I can get money. But I don't really want to fight right now. I just want to avoid these people and go to this castle. And check out these buildings over here as well, not while we're here. Let's do that first, actually. These people are friendly, right? Kurt Craig. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's friendly. Let's go talk to him. Oh, never mind, he's gone. Anything here? We can hire some peasants. I am not interested. Smithy. Oh, he just left. Damn it. Ooh, that's some pretty good armor right there. But nothing I want. Guards Pike. You, come back here. What do you need, donkey from Lonstein? It would be wise for you to establish order in your own land. Please don't do so without distracting me from keeping my own order. Okay. Sorry, mate. I thought we were all friends. Marauding mercenaries captured your building, deserted village. Oh, so it was my building, or my village, except it didn't do anything for me. So I'm not going to take it back. I lost a lot of money trying to take that. Well, I succeeded at taking it, but I still lost a lot of money. Uh, I can't hire anyone here. Well, I can, but I don't want to hire anyone. Okay, Herman and Craig, do you have something to tell me? Maybe. What do I see? Donkey von Lanstein, safe and quite sound. Shall we make a great feast in Greghausen to celebrate our meeting as in the old, good old times? Forgive me, Harman, but unfortunately I have no time for feasts and games. Times of discord and unrest have come to my lands. As you wish, Donkey. But listen, unrest is everywhere now. You never know when you might leave this world. Tomorrow morning or at sunset today. At least you could eat and drink well before you go. My father used to have a friend, Clement from Quelberg. Now then, Lucius, Clement... What the fuck? Now then, Lucius Clement's son shot... Sh Shot down such a huge hog you wouldn't come across even in Rothwald's woods. The meat is quite tough, I suppose, but it will go down well with Saxon wine. Oh, it's beautiful. You should have seen the hunt. Trees were slashing past us. What a random story for you to tell me. Ooh, a peasant woman. Now, this is someone we want to hire. Damn, though, it's a shame because these, these guys are actually... Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I got 50 experience, which probably would have leveled up. Yeah, would have nearly leveled up in one go. 23 bucks. Yeah, you're going to have to go, sir. I'm sorry. We'll hire her instead. I like this formation, though. So we'll lose some damage, but we gain healing abilities. Do we have any items that I would want for her? Plus one willpower? No. That's actually good to have on us. Probably have nothing to give to her. Uh, no. All right. Well, at least we got our healer lady. Fucking hell, could I hire seven guys here? Oh no, three. They just cost seven each. Okay. Armuf's estate. Let's go there. Hello, Armuf. Ar Arnuf, even. Sorry. Not Armuf. Whatever. What's the difference? Okay. Now let's have a look at the map. Is there anything up there? There's a, an, oh, an enemy mill, which I can't quite spot. Right, right there ish. There. I don't know if I want to go for that right now. It gives money. 10 gold per day. Kind of pointless. Lake Village. Oh, there's a bunch of enemies all over the place there. Fugitive peasants and shite. Let's leave all that. Let's go to... Let's see. Yeah, there's not much else here. There's a bunch of enemy places here, actually. Um, yeah, let's go to Old Lotars. And then... Because there is the mountain gate. That's where we need to be for the main quest. Ah, some more gossip and stuff. I can hire another guard here, but I don't want to. Right, special wine. Lady Donkey, would you mind a glass of special wine right from Eris Glans? What is that? You won't find a better wine all the way to Windfield, Windfeld. It is two times thicker than the wine we have and not worse than Flemish. But it has one peculiarity. It is really strong. Half a jargon, you won't even you won't wake up even if an earthquake starts. It seems they have special grapes in Earth's glance. I have bought some jugs for a friend of my, friend of mine, Hans, who keeps a tavern there. I hold them for my special customers like you. Would you like to try or buy the whole jug? A jug would cost you ten gold. Sure. Ten we can we can uh, we can uh, we can lose that, that's alright. Thus I have a special strong wine. It seems the best 
way to make Eric drunk. Now I have to work out how to make Eric drink it. Ah, cool. So that's actually for the quest. I didn't even realize, but yeah, that's good that I bought it. Okay, what kind of gossip have you got here? Oh my god, there's so much gossip. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I enjoy reading all this stuff, but uh, we're not really making any progression right now. The Pressburg Bell. Have you heard that? They cast a new bell for the city hall in Qualberg, and it is one and a half times heavier than the old one. Well, when they make it ready, we will listen to its voice. I have been to many cities, and the bells of Cologne and Leipzig and Dresden all sound different, but I haven't heard such a heavy and deep-sounding resonance like in Pressburg. What is unusual about the bell? A story, then. A craftsman named Fabian lived there with his wife, Ida. He was the best bell craftsman in the country. County, even. And then she was... And she was the most beautiful woman in Pressburg. Fabian, of course, was a respected man in the city. One day, the burgomaster himself knocked at his door. The burgomaster ch crafted a craftsman with the honorable task of casting a bell for the entire hall. At the bottom, it should be no less than three feet wide, and it needed to be eight ha feet high. Needless to say, Fabian got down to work on the bell with much enthusiasm. He spent the whole day in his workshop. He left home at dawn and returned to at sunset. But one day, returning home late, he heard the city guards whispering to one another at his approach. They were gossiping that while he was away from home, a rich guest had come to his house. Fabian guessed at once what the matter was. The work was nearly finished. The form for smelting was ready, and the mixture of the metal was chosen. There was just, there was just left to pour the metal into the form. That day, the burgomaster came to the workshop and brought two pounds of silver to add to the mixture. The following day, the bell was ready. But neither the craftsman nor the burgomaster were seen anywhere from that time. It is said that Fabian left the city in shame. But where was the burgomaster? It is not known. The burgomaster's wife lost her mind over saying she hears, hears her husband's voice within the toll of the bell. She even ascended the city hall ladder to have a close look at the bell. She used to shout out, Let me tell you how the emerald from my husband's ring got into the bell. The greenish spot on the bell side is the very emerald from my husband's ring she gave him on their wedding day. The Pressburg Bell is a very low, deep voice, as if it knocks right at your heart, the city dwellers say. Okay, interesting story. The Erzgland Special. Hey, tell me, innkeeper, where can I get the best wine? Wine that is sweet and has a great aroma, and it slowly and softly makes one drunk. You're asking for a lot. Is simple Rhineland wine not good enough? No, it's not. I have a special celebration. Two days ago, my mother-in-law in -law died, and tomorrow is the funeral feast. I already arranged for good food, and the wine should be the best, you see. Well then, go to Eric's Glance on the South Road, and the tavern you will see will be Gans's tavern. He has the wine you need. It's just that first tavern on the Southern Road. I will go there tomorrow. Well, I'm off. Hey, wait, I wanted to say that the wine has one peculiarity. It's special. I don't know what Gans is putting in it. Maybe it's strange grape or something, but it's better not to drink it undiluted. Okay. Uh, I'll keep that in mind as well. Although we just bought, like, special wine here. Have you heard about the witch Selene, who lives not far from Frost? She recently healed... Okay, we already heard that one. Barbara Reich. Uh, he sleeps with his own sister. Yep, we already heard that one too. Okay, we heard that one three times now, actually. Okay, so he... It said something about um, an inn that sells something interesting. Um, special wine, but I guess we already have that. Let's see. Uh, special wine. Uh, by Hans from Erzglans. Well, yeah, that's the stuff we already bought, right? Yeah, so that, that should be fine. I don't even see what he was talking about. He said going south. I don't see any, like, unless it's one of these things and they're like, all stuck together. I can't see anything, but whatever. Anyway, um, let's go to the mountain gate, which is where our quest lies. Wherever you are, you may no go no further. I've been ordered to stop even a mouse from entering the castle at any price. A strict order, to be sure. But I am Donkey von Landstein, and these lands are mine. Stand down, soldier. Well, it is a relief that one of the Landsteins still lives. My name is Stef... Why is everyone called Stefan this game? Or Stefan, or S Steven of Schleswig. And I am here on the order of Werner from Sturch, the Chancellor of the Duchy. Even if you have... Even if you had been the famed executioner himself, I wouldn't open the door for you without a Chancellor's word. Can you not understand, Stefan of Schleswig, that behind the gates may lie the bodies of my family? Do I have no access to my own estate? Damn it, my own family! I understand, but spare your rage, lady. Whoever has entered the castle has never left it. Can you not wait for your life to end naturally? Are you so bent on this ill-advised course of action? What do you advise, then? I'm still trying to understand the situation myself, but I've learned a few pieces of information. Perhaps if I tell you, then you will have more success than me. As you know, your nearest neighbor, Craig, was a brother to the Leonard Landstein. In the case that all of your family is dead, the, 
Your titles and lands will pass to the oldest of the Craigs. The oldest of the family is Sir C Kurt Craig. He was being a dick to us, wasn't he? What are you implying? I'm offering a motive, perhaps. Shepherds saw Craig in this area by the cover of darkness not three days past. They say he never left the castle, but he is safe and sound. You can see for yourself. Perhaps he will talk to you. He won't, actually. I've already tried, but I guess maybe now he will. Now that we've got this quest. Ooh, it's actually a, it's a fight. Apparently it's hostile. Our own castle is hostile towards us. Damn it. This Stefan of Schleswig person reminds me of someone, but who? I fear I cannot place him, though I swear I've seen him recently. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Nope, camera, what the hell is wrong with you, mate? Okay, let's go in a wide area around this place. Okay, so I want to go back this way and talk to that guy on the horse right there. You, come here. That's Kurt, right? Oh, where is he? There is he. Bertolt. Oh, that's no, it's Bertolt. Bertolt, come here. Where'd you get that horse? I'm happy to see you safe and sound, donkey. Now I'm happy you reached your castle. Are you Lance Vaughn? Have you any information? Nothing we don't already know. Your vassals from the East Bank came into conflict and there's a tough task to make them reconcile. This bank is also in unrest. Kurt, my stepbrother, seems to have decided to rule East Landstein according to his own will. He wants our family along with me to side with him. Moreover, Lance Knights and Rogues, basically the scum of the world, flooded Landstein and loaded it like a pack of rats. They set up camp in the ruins of Castle Wenge and I won't be able to deal with them without your help. I see. Uh, sure, let's... Do that if I can. I can hope. I can probably deal with it. It's just that do I have enough money to fix the stuff afterwards? We'll ride together just as we always have. Though now in unhappy times, now these rats are not picky. They plunder any traveler they come across and hoard their ill-gotten gains in the ruins of Castle Wench, which is situated in the East Forest. Maybe I'll get some good loot from it then. I'd like nothing better to go there and slaughter them, but they scatter like a flock of chickens at my approach. To roast them, I need a good cook like you. And that is just never work well for you, Bertold. Hear me out. I will go in there as always, and the nestlings will try and scatter away, but this time you'll be able, you'll be there to catch them. The moment you are ready, let me know, and we'll set off to Castle Wenge at once. Alright, let's go for it. Here we go. Okay. Oh, crap. You can deal with them. Leave me alone. Damn it. Alright. We don't have money for this. Alright, there's only three of them. We should be alright. Ten damage. That's very bad. Thirty-four or thirty. Alright, let's wreck this guy with the axe right away. Shit, one of their guys gets an attack. That's not good. I, re I need to take like as little damage as possible, because I, I barely have the money to repair. 14, 10... Uh... Yeah, alright, that way we can definitely finish him off. We do have the healer now, so actually that will save us some health at least. Right, keep hitting this guy. Right, you can finish him off, or you can do 26 to him. Well, I think we should finish him off. Otherwise, he gets a turn. Actually, yeah, he'll get a turn. So, yeah, let's finish him off. Get out of here. Oh, I thought our healer lady got a turn first. That's alright. 18 or 20. Yeah, 20 actually does enough as well. But we'll heal this guy anyway. Alright. 20 or 30. I think I'll just go for the most damage. Stop hurting him. Damn it. You, 10. That's the only one we can hit, so let's go for him. Okay, you can slap this guy again for 12. Ow! Kill him! Oh, he's not dead yet, damn it. Alright, healer lady. Whoa, you've already run out? Oh my god. That's terrible. Alright, you can finish him off, or you can not finish him off. Let's finish him off. Actually, no. We're, we can finish him off with the other guy. Because he gets his turn next anyway. Oh man, we are gonna ha have to pay for so much shit right now. Shields blocking his arrows, okay, well, we're gonna finish him off anyway, and then we're gonna finish this guy off. Maybe I should have waited and had the heal. Okay, we got some trophies and a hawk ring at least, and some money, so... And we got a level up, that's good too. It's a pity the dead cannot talk, I wonder the orders they tried to carry out. Oh, they actually... Okay, it was a quest, which is why they came after me, because I was wondering why they came after me, I hadn't seen that before. They usually just went around. Um, well, now I'm going to have to go heal my people before I can go do this mission. Uh, but first of all, I saw that we had a level up on this fella right here. Okay, so we can make him into... Right, we can make him into a guard. 64, 9, 5, 35. Max strike, spear strike, light armor, shields, guard. This is the... Yeah, the shield... Right, so... Yeah, this guy's more defensive, less damage. 
Yeah, this guy's the spear, and then this guy's the shield. I think we want our frontline soldiers mostly for being tanky. They got the same amount of health, but this guy has better defenses, and the damage isn't even that much worse. His initiative's a bit lower, though. And he can only actually wear light armor as well. I assume later on he'll probably be able to... Yeah, medium armor, heavy armor. This one, too. This tree actually goes splits off into two different things again, interestingly enough. Um... Alright, I do like this one as well. Tons of damage. But I'm going to go for that one. So now we have a shield. And a nearly dead guy, also. So I need to heal these people. Uh, I know there's a... Oh, he's got to, like, fucking run off. Can I heal over here? Just... I don't think so, but... No. Oh, we need to talk to Kurt. Well, while we're here. What do you need? Uh, oh, he still won't talk to me. Okay, well... That's that's a shame. Right, if you wait for me though, because I need to go to this church over here real quick. Because I need to heal. Wait, wait, wait for me. Oh, he's waiting for me. Okay, right. How much is this going to cost me? 73. Alright. It's bad, but it's not terrible. Uh, I can sell these for 20. I think I could sell them for 25 somewhere else. I think I'll hold off onto them for now. Plus for your initiative, I actually need to equip that if I'm not going to sell it. I might sell it though, it's worth 60, it's not bad. Plus free initiative, I think I'd want that on my archer maybe. I'm not sure, fearless. Immune to fear, oh, interesting. Um, that's willpower to his attack and defense. Oh, well in that case, getting a willpower on him is better than having it on me. Plus he needs healing more often as well, so it'll be cheaper to heal him. Uh, did it equip him? Yeah, it did. Cool, so he's got an extra damage. Well, won't, make, won't, make, ugh, won't make too much of a difference, I assume, but still. Um, right, then... Yeah, the plus three initiative. I... I don't think I want it on my archer, actually. Let's put it on him. Or on the... Let's put it on the tank. So that he's the first one in there, or more likely, anyway. He's on 13. Actually, they're on the same... I don't know who's that. Was, was it going to give the initiative to in that case? But we'll find out. Right, well, at least we're healed up. We have a little bit of money left. Okay, we're here. Do I talk to you or. I'm going inside. Stand here and watch closely. Don't let the chickens fly. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus, I didn't want to do that. Oh, here comes the first squad of fugitive. I have to stop them. Oh, crap. Okay, there's only three of them. These guys are weak. 50 damage. Holy fuck, I can nearly kill one of these guys in one hit. 55. Right, uh, looks like this guy gets his turn first, so we can kill him off right away. Won't get a turn. So you can do 20 to him, 20 to him, or 10 to him. Uh, who gets his turn next? My tank, and then him, and then the healer lady. Let's do 20 to... I think my tank probably does... Well, I, I call him a tank, my, my melee guy probably does more damage. But actually, um... We'll attack him anyway, I think. Actually, I might not be able to. Uh, we only need 10 to him, so I'm not going to attack him. The thing is, if I attack him, then he slashes him as well. He can finish off him, but then this guy can go for me instead. And we don't want that either. I think I want him to go for him anyway. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll shoot this guy. Alright, and then, yeah, because he does more damage. That's the reason why. Oh yeah, we take damage in return. I forgot about that. Now, he might be able to finish this guy off right away. Oh, actually, oh, of course, this guy's closer, so he's going to take some damage in return as well. But not too much. Alright, so my healer lady gets a turn. I'm actually not going to use that turn, I don't think. Um, I may as well, actually. I was going to say, because I, I could wait and then heal more later, but I don't think I'll even get her turn anymore. They'll probably be dead before that happens, so we'll um, we'll heal him for less um, spiritual stuff necessary to heal him. Alright, so you can finish on one of these two, I imagine. You can do 50 to him. Uh, I guess we'll kill this one off. Oh, and the other one ran. But that, Oh, they surrendered actually, because running, yeah, that seems kind of silly, because we were supposed to be here to make them not run. The four squad is defeated, but the raid is not over. I have to wait until Bertolt returns. I had better stand closer to the ruins. Okay, I'm standing proper close to the ruins right now. Oh, 
Okay, right. Well, it said here comes the second squad. Okay, only two guys. 38, 42. I could probably kill the archer in one go. Although, if he only does 10 damage, then I won't. I think why I keep getting less damage is because he's more than... Like, he only does 10 is because he's more than three spots away or something. I kind of feel like hitting him for 38. We can kill him very quickly. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this guy off in one go. I'd rather kill this guy as soon as possible. So let's just go for him. So let's see. Oh, we only... Ah, oh, we would have killed this guy. That's annoying. So now he gets a free attack on us. It's alright. Okay, this guy can actually hit both of them. Um, I attack him for 29. I can attack this guy for 23. He would die from his attack. Which means he wouldn't get a turn. Alright, let's do that. But I want to attack him from... Yeah, from right there. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. He won't get a counter-attack either. All right, and he can finish him off. And then we get a heal, which is great. Oh, shit, we don't. Damn it. Alright, we got a level up. That's good, though. Okay, we got some more trophies and healing potion. That's actually quite good. Good rewards. Two groups have already been cut, but there's surely, surely there are still more left. I must wait until Bertolt comes. Alright, let's uh, stop there for a second. So this potion, let's give that to one of our tanks. He has one of these ones. And the other guy has a big potion. So yeah, we'll give him the small one. And you, sir, have a level up. Alright, you have no choices yet, so we'll make you a bowman. Good on you. Alright, so let's pass the time again. And... Damn it, two squads at once. We must take both of them. Oh, crap. Oh, shit, son. Okay. Right. Um, the archers... I think I'll actually, yeah, I'll go for the archers now, because I should be able to finish them off. Let's go for this guy, because we have a bigger chance of killing him off right away. 20 damage. Oh, of course, you do more damage now. Well, it's fine. And 24. Oh, we actually do more damage to this guy, but we'll kill off the archer. Save us some damage. Only one archer gets a turn. Shoots at him again, but we should be able to heal him this time at least. Alright, you're going to go for this guy. And you're going to go for him as well. Actually, does that kill him? It doesn't. But nearly... Well, I'll still go for him anyway. Because then one of the, ar the archer can kill him or something. That makes him lightly stunned as well. He's going to take a bit of a beating here. We're going to heal him. Oh, he took another hit. Alright, you can finish... No, that's a waste of damage. 42... Yeah, because then we can kill him off before he gets a turn. 20. Then he can finish this guy off. 27. Alright. 23. He's going to take another hit here. Hopefully he doesn't die. Actually, he's going to get healed first. Perfect. I didn't think about that. He's still going to be a little low, though. But I, I reckon this is probably the last group. Alright. So this is good, at least. They didn't actually run either, interestingly enough. Alright, we got some more trophies and a light battle axe. Minus one initiative, plus two melee attack. I might give that to him, actually. Although that does give him the later turn, and right now he has the same turn as him. Alright, well, he has the same initiative, but he gets he gets his turn first. Well, he gets his turn first, I mean. And that's the way I want it, so I might not give him that axe. Oh, crap. Oh, so that's what they meant by two at the same time. Crap, I didn't see that coming. 48. Oh, the healer woman. 34. We gotta let her live. 46 on this guy. He gets his turn first as, as well. 40. So we do the most to him, but this guy's obviously the strongest. 46. So he'd be down to 18. Actually, our archer leveled up, so we might be able to finish this guy off in one shot. That would be perfect. 20 damage, please. 14. That's not enough. Crap. And the healer lady gets her turn then. Oh, his initiative did go down. Yeah, he's down there now. He was he was after this guy, I think. Just now, anyway. Alright, so I think I'll do 26 to him, and then we might be able to finish him off before he gets a turn. You can attack only from here. That's fine. 27. Oh, really? Oh my god. So we can kill him for an, with 31 damage. Let me go kill this guy off instead. Oh my god, 22 damage and retaliation from him. Fucking hell. Alright, he got healed. Oh man, it's not looking good. He's gonna have to attack him though. I need to heal him. 
I need to heal him. Like, it's not that I want to, but I have to. Right, you can kill that guy. We're gonna do 40 damage to him, which is also pretty good. No, no, we need to kill, we need to kill this guy with ranged. Because otherwise, he gets a ton of retaliation damage from him. Alright, 18 on him. Let's do that. Right, this guy might die before he even gets a turn, actually. 28 damage. Yeah, I think so. Because the healer lady is coming up, but she might run. Please let that be it. 1 plus 1 melee attack. Some uh, healing potions and stuff. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, that's him. Thank God. Well, that was quite a fight. I think I broke a sweat back there. Wait, I think that's a bit of a bandit's... A bit of... That, I think that's a bit of the bandit skin. Alas, our ringleader disappeared. He vanished into thin air. Curse him. I'm sure he has sneaked into some secret trapdoor and now he hides somewhere in the depths of the woods. But nobody managed to escape from Bertolt Crack before I shan't. Before, and I shan't let this be the first. I'll hang about the balls between the wench towers. Find me later when my blood is cooled and we will decide how to roast the fattest chicken. Don't worry, Bertolt. I'll doubt he'll ma do, he wants to do much on his own. All of his chickens have been thoroughly plucked. Ha, you did well. I had no doubt that you'd succeed, though. By the by, by the by, I took some shiny trinkets from the nest. It'd be more than fair to split them between us, since I'm sure they won't be needing them any longer. Sweet. What did you give me? Uh, not sure what he gave me, actually. I feel like I already had all this stuff. Well, anyway, plus one melee attack. We'll give that to... You already have full stuff, so we'll give it to you. Wait, hold on. You can't use it? Plus one melee attack. Can't want, you don't want that object. What's wrong with you? Plus three initiative, plus three melee defense, plus five health. I think I want to keep all those on him. But I I also want to use the plus one melee attack. You actually have two plus one melee attacks. It's already using such No, you can't. All right, well, never mind then. And no point giving it to anyone else. All right, the healing potion even. Um, I think we'll give that to you instead of the wine. Uh, put the wine on... Uh, plus 2 willpower, plus 15 health. Sure, I'll take it for now. Why not? Alright, so we have a bunch of trophies, so we should be able to at least afford the repair uh, of our healing. I think we didn't actually... Maybe we got some money instead, I'm not sure. Uh, right, so what's our quest saying currently? Way home, is that... No, that's not that one. It's uh, a lesson in ability? No. Is it done? The raid? Oh, it's... Right, okay, so we just need to talk to him at some point again. Right, well, let's go to the church again. Let's get ourselves healed. Okay, please don't chase me. It looks like they're chasing me. I really don't want to fight them right now. Uh, I will first heal. 65, right, that's not too bad, actually. Right, so I can sell these for 20. I think I can just sell them for 25 somewhere else, though. I really need the money. And right now, again, I don't have such a need for money that I'm too worried about it, so I think I'll keep it. Okay, he's not chasing me anymore. Um, right, so what quest are we doing now? I need to talk to him at some point, so let's follow him, see if we can talk to him now, I guess. There we go. Come here! Wait, is that still you? It is, yeah. The other guy rides on a horse as well, and he has the same flag over his head, so... Damn it! You're faster because you're on a horse. Come here. Alright, help Bertolt to capture the gang ringleader. Let's do it. When once used to be a great castle, the tunnels under it are quite in intricate, and many still lie there. Who knows how many villains are hiding there? It is no good going to those labyrinths, they will sneak off anyways. Now I have a plan to smoke them out, using the same strategy as before. We're going to have a great hunt, just as we used to. I will be a hunter, and you and my younger brother, Tobias, are going to be the hounds. Together with him, you will set off to the ruins. Toby will get down into the hole and drive out the game, and you will be waiting outside. As soon as the enemy appears, drive them, him into... In, drive them to the north bridge. I will lie in ambush there. We will trap them on the bridge. They will have to give up. They, then we will deal with their chief. Remember, don't kill him during the chase. Otherwise, this plan will be useless. I give you your due, Berthold. You have spent much time delivering this plan. Yes, from all the way from the ruins to here, you were pondering about this plan. A great idea. The success remains to be seen, but it sounds interesting enough. I should say so. Do you think Berthold Craig would allow some pitiful mongrel to fool him? Let me know as soon as you are ready and we will start hunting. Yeah, let's do it right away. At last, I will notify Tobias and make for the bridge. Okay. Is that Tobias? Oh, who's that? Kurt, that's him again. He still doesn't want to talk to us, even though we're supposed to be talking to him. Oh, I did not mean to go into the castle. Okay, so we are supposed to go... 
I'm not sure where we're supposed to go actually. There's like a lot of enemies right there. All right, don't come after me, please. Oh, there's right. We're supposed to talk to him, I guess. Tobias, nice. And I guess we're not doing any fighting until we get on the bridge, which looks like we'd, we'd have a really good, a strong party. So, Donkey, I'm going inside. We'll try to drive this current toward the daylight. The moment you see him, drive him toward the bridge. Okay, I guess I'll wait right here then. Maybe a little back this way. Oh, is that crew coming for me? No, they're not. Oh, damn it. Tobias has been absent for too long. I don't like this. Should I go and find him? That will risk the ruin of the plan. I must decide quickly. I'm going to wait right here. I will actually throw down a save. Eh, let's run a quick save, actually. I don't want to ruin the plan. It's a good plan. Hurry, drive the mercenaries to the bridge. Where's Tobias? They killed him. Rush on. Don't lose time. Aw. Wait, hold on. Oh, there they are. Haha, to the bridge you go, fiend. Oh crap, uh, I skipped the first thing. Well, good job, Donkey. Where's Tobias? He fell in the fight with his scum. What? These damn marauders killed my brother? You scum, you have no pardon. You have no mercy from me. Men, take their heads and leave the ringleader to me. Bertold, we need him alive. Blood for blood. Bertold, what have you done? We have no information, nothing at all. Is this the vengeance you wanted for Toby? I did what was right. I could not act any other way. What the fuck, mate? We just... Is that quest now done? Hunting up the ringleader. Managed to kill Tobias. Your task is to drive the chief. The Bertolt's lying in ambush there. Yeah, right. So that's done. Fucking useful, mate. Come here. Let me... Come here. Let me talk to you. What if I'd gone in? I could... I could reload it. Hold on. I figured out a save. Let's do that. Because this seems like it just... Screws up the quest. Right, let's go in. Hello, boys. Damn them and Bert ma damn Bertel's plans. I must help Tobias. Donkey, help. I'm coming. All right, good. Oh my god, that's qu quite the party, though. Rolf, apostate. Oh shit, what has he got? Targeted friendly universities, 25... Uh, okay, that's health and shit. Unholy protection. Oh shit, that, that's pretty strong as well. Okay, this guy looks like he needs to die. He's got 60 health. A few shots will kill him. Or I can kill the hunter right away. With the yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Kill him with the archers. Yeah. Could kill him fairly quickly as well though. So he's gonna do something. He did okay, so that gives him a ton of extra health and such. Okay. Um We're gonna focus on them one by one. Let's do that. So I'm gonna focus on this guy. And then have him as well attack this guy. Lightly stunned. Oh my god, he's gonna die so quickly. Heal him. Is he gonna. No, but he attacks him. Perfect. Alright, so you can kill him for 38. That's a bit overkill. 46. Hermon the Unbound. Okay, I guess that's him. Jesus Christ, that's why he did so much damage. He's a fucking legend. Alright, I don't think I can kill him anyway, so it's probably a waste. I think I should hit him for 36. Then I can hit him for another 10 or 20 maybe with the archer. Won't kill him, but he'll bring him close enough. Let's do that. 14, okay. 16. That finishes him off. That means the other guys can kill him off. I think that's better. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, he's doing Unholy Protection. Right, that's bad, I'm pretty sure. Um, right, so yeah, whenever we... deal damage to him, we take 50% of that damage done. I don't know if that ca counts for ranged as well. I assume it does. Right, he's gonna get a turn next turn. I think he's dead. 24. Okay, we kill him perfectly. I think he's dead. Yep, he is. 26 damage. Alright, well in that case, we'll heal him. Will we? Or will we meditate? No, we'll heal him. Alright, boys, I'm gonna start doing damage to him now. So, did we take the... Okay, so ranged, I guess it doesn't count, because we didn't take any damage there. Okay. He... Heals himself of possession. 27. Okay, we can kill him at least. We'll probably take a bunch of damage here, yeah. But that's alright. We'll take 13. Which is nowhere near half of 21. I'm pretty sure half of 21 is 10 and a half. So at least give me 11 damage then. Right, so you need to meditate. And you can start firing on him. 32. 
Oh, he's got a ton of health as well. Wait, I thought he had 60. How much did we just do? Okay, I don't know what happened there. I thought we did a lot more damage. Oh, he buffed himself. So I guess it just, like, it doesn't show. 34, is that him dead? Yeah, it is. Alright, so we lost one guy, but that's alright. We can just heal him. It'll cost us a bit. Spiked Mace. Minus 3 initiative, plus 2 melee attack, stunning blow. Raphael's Pentacle. That's going to be really good for him if he actually is willing to use it. Holy Maria, Donkey, you are just in time. If, you're, if it were not for you, I'd roast on this villain and spit myself. I'm happy to see you are safe now, Toby, but we have lost the opportunity to question the Chieftain. Oh, I see. Okay, so we failed anyway. But in this case, we saved Tobias. So sure, I'll, I'll take that. Um, I guess we'll still have to talk to him. The quest, I assume, is still updated. No, it hasn't, actually. Hunting the ringleader. So I'll have to talk to Berthold. Let's go heal first, actually. Because why not? I'm sure he'll just wait there anyway. <laughs> this is probably going to be somewhat expensive. 111. Somewhat expensive. Oh, and yeah, so we have those amulets I want to give out. Anyone near to any level ups yet, by the way? I'm sorry, you aren't, because you just leveled up, but... Uh, nope. Oh, you leveled up just now as well. You're pretty close, okay. So the spiked mace... Uh, okay, it's this one gives minus three initiative as well, so it's it's exactly the same except it gives a stunning blow. I don't know what that is, stunning blow, because this thing stuns as well. But I guess maybe this does more. I don't know. It's the same thing except it gives stunning blow. Sounds good to me. He's not willing to use the this amulet either. He doesn't want the object. He does, but he already has one, so that's pointless. So I can give him the axe. Um, oh, I didn't even realize that. His axe currently already gives him minus three, so this basically gives him two initiative, and it gives him plus one melee attack, so hell yeah, we'll use that. Does it actually change what it looks like? Yeah, it does. Cool. Only minor difference, but it looks pretty cool. Alright, sweet. I'm starting to like this game more and more now. I should have looked at that. I didn't realize that his axe already gave minus initiative. I should have thought about that, at least. Hello, Donkey, where are the mercenaries and their leader? Everything went wrong, Bertolt. Tobi Tobias nearly died at their hands. I cannot simply watch. Tobias has been saved, but won't question the ringleader now. It's a pity, but at least we can take comfort in the fact that the gang from the ruins won't bother us anymore. And I will have to teach Tobias to handle himself better next time. Alright, have a good day. So, yeah, that didn't really do anything for us either. That mission is now finished, and we didn't get any information. To be fair, I'm not even sure what information we're looking for right now. Alright, so what else have we got? We have the boost to give to that guy, which was for this one. Now I have to work out how to make Eric drink it. Well, I guess maybe if we talk to him, we can find some, like, maybe we can uh, drink together. You guys bugger off. I'm pretty sure they actually run from me. Because sometimes when I get close to them, they run and... Oh, maybe not. Uh, that's his castle, I think. Moss and shoots, but I don't think there's anyone in there, but I'll quickly check anyway. What the hell are you? Uh, oh. Oh, this is the last guy we haven't spoken to. Okay, so it's not his castle then. Is that really you? Yes, it's definitely you. It's such good news, yada yada. I am to make it so, and it would help if you would halt your hostilities to help stabilize the land somewhat. Alas, I cannot help you, blah blah blah. Um... Uh, envious are wealth acquired by value deeds and then the economy. Okay, so this is the guy who makes money. Uh, they have a chance to appro appropriate my possessions easily and they will stop at nothing. Uh, so yeah, you want me to kill two of them? It's all the same stuff, isn't it? I quickly talk to him anyway, see what he says about... Oh, okay, this is a different question. Mention the problems of the Merchant Guild. What? Those petty tradesmen have no honor. They have slandered me. My people won't, don't rob anyone. They just collect my land lawful toll. But nimble tradesmen from Quelberg are always trying to work out some plan to avoid paying the toll. The illegal warehouse, for instance. And sometimes when it comes down to it, they attack the collectors, refusing to pay. I lost two people last week. Those burly, poor burly tax collectors. All that muscle gone to waste. But I'm not the only person that lost. They take for you for a fool as well. Some merchant, Leon by name, who trades with Zeon... Leon and Zeon, the miser from Quelberg, palms off stolen goods to Zeon. But I'm not one to judge, of course. The problem is, in fact, that Leon disembarks on the opposite bank and goes through your lands, actually. He has done this many times, and he has, hasn't paid you a single golden. You have the right to strip him to the bone, and he can't object to it. And in the case that he dies while objecting, well, I'll owe you a debt. Why should I want? Why should you want this death? As an honest man, I hate tricksters of, tricksters of any kind. And an, and 
any time I have the possibility of lessening their number, I will take the chance. Moreover, it harms the wealth of my suzerain, and I cannot turn a blind eye to that. I'm sure that's why. Right, so he talks about his neighbors. Uh, it's all the same. They have all told me everything about all their stuff, but not the family. My castle bears the name of Langard, which means a long guard. It has been ever guarding the river road to Quelberg. My ancestors have always, pro always protected the city in passing ships, and of course they were toll collectors. My family has accumulated enormous wealth over years, which now causes my neighbors jealousy and en enmity. I am accused of pettiness and greed, but it's nonsense. Any honest man in Quelberg will tell you that Langard is generous as well as Fifty. Okay, let's not declare war on him. Alright, so now we've spoken to him. I uh, actually am going to end the episode there, because it's been an hour. So, thank you all for watching once again. We've made a little bit of progress. I mean, not really progress, we just we, we did a quest, really. That's, that's really all there is to it. Um, although we have some information now on the Merchant Guild problems. I have no idea what to do about it yet, but I need to kill Leon, apparently. Anyway, so that's going to be that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.